What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger. Today we're filleting up fresh San Diego Yellowtail Jack. We're at Fast and Easy Processing, Woo! and we're getting it all packed up and ready to go back to Delray Beach, Florida. And if you guys are ever in San Diego, hit up these guys. What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we're going to be cleaning up a Yellowtail. Now, this isn't Yellowtail Snapper that you guys are used to in South Florida. This is a Yellowtail Jack. It's in the same family as Amberjack. It's also called Hamachi if you frequent sushi restaurants. It's phenomenal table fare. It's great cooked, raw, ceviche. And it's just one of those fish that it's kind of hard to mess up. Any way you do it, it's gonna be awesome. Now, when we're flaying up our yellowtail, we like keeping the collars because those are great. If you ever had a Hamachi Kama at a Japanese restaurant, that's this right here. That's a yellowtail collar, phenomenal stuff. We're gonna go right underneath the pectoral fin and separate out. It's okay to leave a little bit extra meat on there because we wanna make that hamachi kama later. And we're gonna go behind the head at an angle. Lots of great meat behind the head on these jacks. Tip of the knife, right at that opening. And we're gonna slide all the way down, nice and easy. Rest our knife right on top of the skeleton and slide towards the head. We're resting our knife on top of the skeleton, letting the skeleton guide our knife. That way we don't lose any of that delicious yellowtail meat. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up. You wanna make sure that your knife is pressing on the base of the skeleton and not levitating. If it's levitating, you won't get the right angle. It's gotta be pushing on the base of that skeleton to get your right angle. Then lift your blade slightly up and that separates the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now, use the tip of your knife and go to the top of the center spine. Wipe off that blood. Going to the top of the center spine allows you to get a higher lift on your filet without tearing any of that wonderful meat. Now we're gonna rest our knife right on top of those rib bones. Use the tip of our knife to hit the second side. Surf down those rib bones, get as close as you can. The belly meat on these yellowtail is amazing. And there you go. All the ribs are left on the skeleton. None of the meat was left on top of them. As an absolutely beautiful fish. And this is phenomenal table fare, y'all. We're gonna flip the fish over and repeat the process. Lift up that pectoral fin, go right underneath it. And you can use the, the pelvic bone as a metric of where to come down. Just remove the whole pelvic. Hard angle behind that head, making sure we don't lose any of that beautiful yellowtail meat. Tip of the knife right at that opening and slide down. Now when you're hitting the second side, it's a little easier to cut through the skeleton. So you wanna just make sure you have a nice soft hand on your knife so that way you can glide on top of that skeleton without cutting through it. So it takes me a couple more motions on the second side than the first side just to make sure I don't cut through the skeleton. Going to the top of the center spine now, tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up. Separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now we're gonna go to the top of the spine. That way we can hit the second side without losing any meat. Rest our knife right on top of those rib bones. That way you don't leave any ribs on your filet. You don't lose any of the meat. And look at that. Gorgeous yellowtail filet. All the rib bones are right there left on the fish. No meat left behind. Up next, we're gonna remove the collars. Super delicious part of the yellowtail. You wanna find this bone right here. You see how that bone is moving independently? That way you get to slide your knife right underneath that bone and it slides right out. So I just wanted to show you that as an example, but on these fish, it honestly rips off easily and you just rip it right out also. You're not losing any meat from ripping it out. Now, because this fish is so delicious, if I were at home, I'd be using a spoon to scrape the meat and get every drop of that off. And I could use that on fish cakes, salads, or I'd make like a spicy roll. Uh, take that off with a spoon, take a little bit of kimchi sauce, a little scallion, whip that up together. It goes great inside of a roll. But right now, I'm in San Diego, California. I have no place to put that. But before we get rid of that skeleton, I gotta know, is there cheek meat in a yellowtail? I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried to carve out cheek meat on a yellowtail. Let's see what's inside. Hey, 
And there it is. That's the size of cheeks you're getting off the yellowtail. And I'm gonna cut them out. I'm gonna save them. I'll let you know later how it tastes on a future post. All right, guys, once you've got your gorgeous yellow jack off the bones, I like using a long carving knife. The reason why I like using a knife like this for trimming off the membrane is it just makes it so you can get those nice, long, smooth motions without sawing at it. And there you go. That's a gorgeous filet right there. But we are cutting this up to bring back home with us to Delray Beach, Florida. And we're processing inside of Kelly's Fast and Easy processing truck. If you're in San Diego fishing and you need your fish cut up for you, packed up to ship back home, these are the guys to call. We're gonna go all the way down. Take your time, get close to that pin bone line. Make sure you don't lose any of that delicious meat. That's why we like Kelly and his team. They don't waste any of your fish when they're cutting it up for you. Now we're gonna hit the second side. Take your time with it. Make sure you don't lose any of that delicious yellowtail meat, you guys. Now I'm going at a slight angle inward on this cut because it's gonna remove some of that bloodline. There's that extra bloodline I cut out. A lot of that would be left on if that next motion wasn't at an angle. Once you get your knife under there, apply a little bit of pressure down and push forward. That way you don't lose any of your meat and look how good that looks. Gorgeous, fresh yellowtail. My mouth wants to just say snapper when I say yellowtail. It's so hard to say yellowtail without the word snapper coming after. That just shaved off some of the blood. Bloodline's great for you, but it doesn't taste as good as the filet, so we just shave off a little bit of it. We're gonna pass this on over to Kelly. We're preparing this yellowtail to take back home with us to South Florida. The guys at Fast and Easy are absolute pros. They take such great care of every piece of fish so that way when you get home, even when it's all the way across the country, it looks flawless every time. We've got high loin, low loin, belly, and collars. The collar's my favorite part. What's yours? I'm stoked to get this beautiful fish back home and share it with my friends and family. You guys, these bones make great soups, stocks, fumets. If you know what that is, look it up. Save your fish skeletons and play around with it. There's still some meat left on that. If you simmer them down, you get lots of meat off of it still. You'll have a great fish stock to use for a future dish. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a killer day.